The country is seeing an increase of violence and crime, especially among younger people. It's also having some effect here in the Valley. First News reporter Kyle Alexander tells us about that local impact. So I went to Youngstown Police Station today to learn more about this issue locally. And violence among young adults has been a problem in the Valley over the years. But I found out there may be a bigger issue at hand. With recent tragedies like the Highland Park shooting, young adults are becoming the center of violence and crime. This has been an issue around the Valley for some time. I talked to Malik Mastella with Youngstown Police today. He says this issue isn't necessarily increasing locally. However, he says younger people are more exposed to violence and crime. Technology being what it is, we see a lot more than what we used to see because of the cell phones and everything else. Mastella says technology is bringing violence among young adults to light, and the lack of respect for life is bothersome. We're quick to lose our tempers and just go from zero to 100 without thinking about the consequences that fall in behind it. Mastella believes access to information grows as technology grows. He says this can be beneficial as it can help depict what happens at an incident more accurately. I think it's important that you, if you're gonna show something, you show everything so people get a honest view of exactly what happened and how it happened. Mastella says there are programs to help young people but some people are just not taking advantage of those programs. I get excited when I talk about it because I know it's there but it's also frustrating at the same time because I see it not being accessed. Yeah, right there's that bigger problem. Estello says the programs are a great way for the city's youth to get on the right path. But again, he just wants to see more people taking advantage of those. Dave, Lindsay. Well, Kyle, we do have another question for you. Did the officer mention any other programs that are available for kids to help? Well, he did. He mentioned quite a few, actually. Multiple groups around town that are trying to help stop this violence, such as the Respect Organization, United Returning Citizens, My Cap Flying High, uh, just to name a few. And Stella wants to help people get connected to these organizations, and you can actually contact him directly. If you're interested in learning more about these organizations, you can find his contact information right on our website, wkbn.com. Guys.